Hey everyone, Cynix here, and today's video is all about drawing with energy. So focus your chi because we're gonna drop a fat spirit bomb on the canvas. Um, actually, this is kind of a follow-up to the drawing like a painter video, which focused on trying to bring more life to your sketches by incorporating lighting schemes and just focusing on blocks of value instead of iconography. Uh, but this video is a little different because a lot of people still were trying to wonder, you know, how do I make my sketches better or more lively like yours seem to be? And I always kind of then dissect my own work and I think, okay, what am I doing that's different? Because I don't actually know sometimes. I have to actually look at my own process and figure out some decent advice. But I realized that it's all about drawing with the proper energy, the proper confidence in your lines. So a lot of my work, I don't do, you know, sketches or pre-planning. I don't do, uh, I don't block out the forms first. I just go straight for the actual lines. Uh, so I think that's where a lot of it comes from. And confidence is something that's really hard to fake in your lines. It shows when you see a drawing that just has a certain energy to it. It's just something that you can't replicate, you know, by doing it slowly or taking your time. And I guess that's the same principle in forging signatures. I don't know if you've ever tried to forge your parents' signature, um, like on a test when you were a little kid. But one thing you'll know is that anyone who's good at forging signatures, you don't do it slowly by recreating every little nuance of their signature. You have to learn to do the whole energetic stroke of the signature. You have to do it fast. Um, and we learned that as kids, at least some of us more rotten kids did. Um, but that translates into everything. You just can't fake energy. So that's kind of what I wanna talk about. And, you know, I came from uh, kind of a background in art where I just saw and I thought this was the way you had to do it, where you make a sketch, you know, usually with pencils, and then you do the line art. And that usually is really kind of tedious, especially in the old days when you would do it on computer like I used to do. Um, I would have a sketch, I would scan it, and then I would go through at a very magnified scale and I would just render out each little line and try to make it as perfect. I'd be cutting into it and making these really clean lines, uh, but I would look at the finished piece and you can get a lot of good art this way. You know, this is why it's a bit of a controversy for me to even say all this stuff, um, but it just doesn't have the same liveliness to it. You're kind of killing the soul of the drawing. So I tried to adapt and I tried to make things to have more energy to them. And it's helped me a lot that I do all my traditional sketches with pen instead of pencil, because I'm just used to not being able to erase and not being able to do guidelines. You just have to go straight for the lines. And that's something that will build a lot of confidence. So once again, confidence and energy, those are the themes we're talking about. And this was also, this whole topic was also slightly inspired by looking at modern artists such as Jackson Pollock. I guess I could say modern art, um, but you know, he was a, in case you don't know, Jackson Pollock was a 20th century painter who had a technique that was basically just splattering paint or dripping paint, but dripping and splattering paint on a canvas. And that's it. There wasn't much of a illustration or form but it was rather all about just the raw energy of the paint and how he splattered it. And when you're younger, you'd like to think you know it all. And I look at modern art and I think, hey, you know, any idiot can do that. Look, he's a splattering paint, what's the big deal? But when you get older, you say, okay, what can I learn from this? Because I've found that most modern art, no matter how silly you might think it, <laughs> think it is, um, there's usually a message that you can actually apply to your illustration. So you take a look at the work of Jackson Pollock and you say, you know, what's this all about? Uh, but what he was really showing us with this whole action painting movement that he started was that energy is something beautiful in itself. There's something very appealing about seeing that energy on a canvas. I don't know. I look at a lot of modern artists. I like to go to modern art galleries and stuff and look at the art because there's usually something you can take and you can apply it to your own illustration. Uh, so yeah, Jackson Pollock, interesting work. Uh, but anyway, you can see here, just as a little side note, I've been ignoring all the, just this is just loose sketching I was doing in the background. Uh, but you can see, I also mentioned that if you're having trouble drawing heads, 
um, sometimes it's a good idea to stop thinking about drawing, stop thinking about drawing heads and just think about drawing masks. So think about drawing the face as this semicircle little mask. And sometimes it's not as intimidating. And it's helpful to have tricks like this that make things less intimidating because they help you build the confidence. So I did a lot of these. Um, I still do them now and then if I'm not feeling very confident in the shape of my head. Um, not, not my head specifically. I know, okay, well, never mind. That's a whole nother subject. But the shape of the drawings of my heads, well, this still doesn't sound right though. But anyway, if I wasn't feeling confident, I'd just do masks like this. And for some reason that always was easier even though there's no good reason it should be but anyway that's about it for those little drawings and i'm just gonna make a little weird thing going on here in the background uh while i talk more about the whole energy idea so yeah i was talking about jackson pollock and different modern artists and how they can influence our own work and what we can learn from them so don't write off things you think are silly because there's usually something to learn from a little bit of everything I personally like to try to analyze things like music and cooking and anything that can be seen as creative and try to figure out where I can apply these values to things like illustration. I know that sounds silly, but it's so interesting to me. And it's, I don't know, it's a whole other topic, I guess. So I got this little guy here anyway, and he's gonna be my little tooth monster guy. I don't know, this is just a whole other idea that came to me while I was recording this video. So I was like, hey, I kind of like this. Maybe I'll do more with him in the future because he's, he's kind of fun. I don't know. I feel like this could be a whole little race of creatures with these teeth guys. <laughs> anyway. Um, that's gonna be about it for this topic. Did I forget anything major? No, I don't think so. Um, but yeah, draw with energy, draw with confidence. Even if it looks bad, the confidence will make up for your anatomical errors. I guarantee it. You know, you don't have to be as accurate if you have energy. And that's another good thing about it. You can be loose, you can be, you know, kind of sketchy. Maybe that head's not properly shaped. Uh, but if you have confidence in it, people will buy it. Uh, so that's about it. You can see I made this cool little After Effects version of this drawing. And as always, I'm going to run things out with a 3DS image. So that's going to do it. Thanks for watching.